My name is uh, the Big Goose. As you can see, it's Cinco de Mayo, and I'm wasted already. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna tattoo this weekend, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> We're gonna go interview some people. We got this Guerra named Bernadette. She's gonna handle it all, man, you know? And I'm gonna go drink some more. So AZ Tattoo Expo, here we come, baby. Justin Hartman, who won an amazing award yesterday. Tell me what piece won. Uh, it was a stylized portrait of James Dean. He had like a, uh, we did a girl in his other arm for his grandmother. The James, James Dean was for his grandfather. What is it like for you to win awards? Is that film me? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, you put stuff in and you, so you win some, you lose some, but it's always nice to win. You know, nobody complains about winning. MC squared equal. <laughs> matter, <laughs> matter equals energy squared. Of course. Mr. Jack Birdie, were you happy with Tattoo Nation? I'm a, I'm a part time physicist, uh, if you must know. I heard. I'm very happy with Tattoo Nation. They did, they did a great job. I thought that they, they told the story good. And a lot of people that didn't know what the deal was with that, you know, uh, what came first, the, uh, the chicken or the egg, so to speak, yeah. uh, now know the story. So, uh, I had no idea and I've known you for so long. Great job. You're amazing. Thank you. You've changed the tattooing world. You know that, right? Well, I don't know about all that, but thank you. <laughs> Eternal Ink crew. I got Tramp and Big Joe. You're the owner of Eternal Ink. What do you think of your line compared to other ink lines? Well, I've been doing it for 33 years, doing the inks for a little over 10 years, and uh, my main thing is I'm an artist also, tattooed for 20-something years. Uh, my consistency is top-notch. Uh, work with a lot of other artists, uh, uh, giving us colors to make, and uh, it's a part of my life. been a part of my life for 33 years. With the amazing big ass. I don't know if I'm amazing. Kind of amazing. I'm a little chubby. Chubby's amazing. <laughs> You're fluffy. Fluffy tabulous. I am tabulous. Fluffy. I'm very fluffy. <laughs> Tell me about this awesome show, Tattoo Nightmares, that you're on. How much has it changed your life? Uh, I can't sleep anymore and I can't go anywhere. And People buy you free stuff all the time, though. I've witnessed all the time. <laughs> it's pretty rad. I like that. <laughs> I love you so much. I know you got tattoos to do. We love you. I do. I have tattoos to do and I stopped for this poster signing. But Sage, thank you for having us at the AZ Tattoo Expo. I love you. You're my brother. Peace out. Soul and TV. And I'm here with Bonzo who helped us get here. Tell me what you all, what all you do for this convention. Uh, nothing. Just walk around with a little thing in my ear and pretend I know what I'm doing. You're FBI. I have huh? a song girl, so sorry. Shut up. You have no, lots of responsibilities. Uh, just put in, I help Sage and uh, Liz promote. We do a lot of the promoting here throughout the year and uh, then just kind of run around and run the show, put out fires, do what I can, you know? Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Oh, again. Again. Like last year, again next year. So. We're going to come back every time now. You can't get rid of us. I don't know. Oh, no, that's cool. <laughs> Grim. What do you think of the convention this year? Love it. I love this convention. It's always been good. Get to it. It's like a reunion. Right? Family reunion. How long have you been tattooing? I've been tattooing eight years now. And I've been doing conventions like six years. I'm here with Nizal. Did you watch the Tattoo Nations movie? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Did you learn anything watching that? Um, Learned a lot actually, Ed Hardy's part. Um, right? Just, man, there was a bunch of information in there. I learned a lot, yeah. And doing black and gray, do you still learn techniques and stuff? Every day. 
every day. And what do you think of this convention this year? It's good. I love Sage's show. Every year it's been a blast. Um, you know, just fun. Well, I'll let you finish this hat too. I think it's going to be rad. Thank you. Thank you. Alexis bought Tete. How are you? Got close enough, close enough. <laughs> what do you think of the convention this year? That's awesome, it's awesome. I've been coming out to this convention for a while. I think I'm going on my 10th year. I love it. What do you like about it? Well, there's a lot of good friends, a lot of good artists. Uh, Sage does it for one, and I like to back up Sage, so. What are you working on right now? I'm doing a freehand owl. Uh, I just drew it on, and uh, we're trying to truck through as much as we can. He's sitting like a trooper. So. How long have you been tattooing? Uh, 11 years now. What's been the hardest, most difficult thing about tattooing for you to learn? Patience. That's the, that's the question most are saying, patience. Patience is the hardest, but you gotta keep trucking, so. I'm gonna let you get back to that before it gets raw, because that's gonna hurt. You're gonna cry. <laughs> it looks beautiful, though. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Family SKA 213. <laughs>